First up, the race for the U.S. Senate. Incumbent Mike Lee is the projected winner, defeating Republican challengers Becky Edwards and Ali Isom. We have team coverage on Decision 2022. Debbie Worthen is tracking the heated race for the Utah County Prosecutor. Going to start things off, though, with Lad Egan and what's next for Senator Mike Lee. Lad? Well, we are here at the watch party for Senator Mike Lee and other Republican uh, incumbents in Congress uh, tonight. Uh, the mood here, uh, very excited as Mike Lee advanced from this GOP primary where he faced those two challengers, Becky Edwards and Ali Isom. This is the first time that Lee has faced a, a primary challenger since he first ran in 2010. And looking ahead to the general election in November, Lee will face uh, independent candidate Evan McMullen, who you remember ran for president in 2016 as a critic of Donald Trump. Tonight, Senator Lee said that Utah Republican voters have spoken and called on them to come together in November, while independent candidate Evan McMullen said tonight's results tell him that Utah is ready for change. My hope and my expectation is that we as Republicans will do what we do best, regardless of where you've been in this race, regardless of where you've been on other races in the past, other presidential candidates or Senate candidates or whatever it is, let's come together. Let's come together this November to stand behind the conservative policies that you know. Statewide, most Utahns want to replace Mike Lee. They're tired of the politics of division and extremism that he's come to embody. And they'd like to send leadership to, to, to Washington that, more, uh, that will be more committed to our interests and that will represent us better and, uh, and help the country move forward. The Utah Democratic Party voted not to put forth a candidate for Senate, instead supporting McMullen as a way to increase the chances of defeating Lee. Back here live at the watch party, we're seeing a lot of campaign staffers still here for Senator Mike Lee. Again, uh, the, the Associated Press calling this race uh, shortly after the polls closed. Those returns showing Lee with 61 percent of the vote, Becky Edwards around 30 percent, and Ali Eisen with 8 percent. Again, Senator Lee saying that uh, Utah Republican voters have spoken and that he looks forward to six more years. But now we know that the battle is set up for the general election in November with incumbent Senator Mike Lee versus independent candidate Evan McMullen. Reporting for KSL 5 News, Lad Egan reporting in South Jordan.